let's try to understand this question in the first part this is ethanol reacts with ethanol is heated in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid so always remember concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent dehydrating agent means it dehydrates the reactant it takes out the water out of the reactant so here my reactant is ethanol ethanol is nothing ethanol is c2h5oh so when it is heated in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid which is a dehydrating agent so it will take OH and 1H from here and water will get separated out and what will be left will be C2H4 which is nothing which is an alkene whose name is ethene so we can say that ethanol gets converted into ethene in the presence of a dehydrating agent which is concentrated sulfuric acid so alcohols gets converted into alkenes in the presence of the dehydrating agent and let's try to solve the second part in the second part they say is that ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid ethanol is what ethanol is alcohol ethanoic acid is what ethanoic acid is carboxylic acid in the presence of an acid always remember alcohols react with carboxylic acids in the presence of acids to give a sweet smelling organic compound which is called as esters esters are used in the manufacture of the perfumes because of their sweet smell and water will get separated out so if i try to write the reaction the reaction will be C2H5OH plus CH3COH. This is ethanol. This is ethanoic acid. In the presence of an acid, so it will be CH3COO. First, the part from the acid, then the part from the alcohol. That is C2H5. This OH. This OH and this H will form what? So now let's try to name it. Whenever we want to name the ester, always remember this the alkyl group which comes from the alcohol part, this C2H5. This will be named first. So it will be ethyl. Then will come the part which is coming from acid, that is from that is this acid part. So this is coming from ethanoic acid. Only difference is that oic will be replaced by O8. So it will be ethyl ethanoid. O8 is nothing. O8 is the suffix for esters. And let's go to third part. In the third part, I have an ester which reacts with a base. Let's take a simple ester CH3 COO C2H5 the one which was formed in second part it reacts with base let's take a base NaOH so in this case what will happen is this CH3 COO will react with this Na so hence it will result in the form of CH3 COO Na and this C2HO H5 will combine with this OH ion to give C2H5OH so it will result in the form of sodium acetate and ethanol so an ester reacting with base gives you the salt of the carboxylic acid and an alcohol so this will be the products of this reaction